Today's video is brought to you by L3 Technologies. Visit L3T.com. This is the Defense News Minute for April 18th, 2019. I'm Jeff Martin. The Air Force expects the price of new intercontinental ballistic missiles to rise in the near future, but that's mainly to pay for new infrastructure like silo overhauls, not the actual missiles themselves. At least, that's according to the head of Air Force Global Strike Command, General Timothy Ray. In fact, the Air Force is predicting that the price estimate for the program will drop after deciding a winner. But this comes as the program is on a collision course with the House Armed Services Committee, and more specifically, their chairman, Adam Smith, who has expressed serious doubts and opposition to nuclear modernization in the past. And what's to be the fate of the CH-47F Chinook Block II helicopter? Well, as of now, it looks like the cargo version of it won't take off, as the Army says they'll only be buying Block II versions of the Special Operations Chinook, not the standard model. In fact, Service Secretary Mark Esper says the Army won't be rethinking their decision and that money for the Block II will be put into the future vertical lift effort, which is expected to yield new reconnaissance and assault aircraft. But Congress may decide otherwise, so we'll keep you updated as we follow this story. To get more information, visit DefenseNews.com, and thanks for watching this Defense News Minute.